So I released this video about two weeks ago where I taught you guys what the phrase tapping was and how it helps us make better redstone computers. I thought I had done a pretty decent job covering the topic, so I went ahead and published it. About four days later, I get a comment from one of my community posts from a user named Redstone Ghost. The comment said, I think a guide on how to completely follow up would be a great idea. It was then that I realized, I never taught you guys how to tap. I told you what it was and why it was important, but I never told you how to implement it into your own system. So let's go ahead and dive into that for today's video. When you're planning to tap, you need to know what you can tap. Now, there are two ways to look at this. One way is by looking at it from a logical format, and the other one in an arithmetic format. If you look at it through the eyes of logic, then you won't be looking at the circuits themselves, you will be looking at how many logic gates there are and how those logic gates work together. So let's take this AND gate. This AND gate on itself looks like you can't really tap a whole lot from it. But, if you look, we could separate all of these into little components. So we can separate this torch right here to its own component. We can separate this into its own component. We could separate this into its own component. And then we could also, theoretically, add an extra component like this. Why is this helpful? Well, it shows us that we can actually tap a lot from just this singular AND gate. We can tap this right here, which acts as a NOT gate. We can tap this as a gate, so this is also a NOT gate. This, most people won't think this is actually a logic gate, but this is actually an OR gate for this gate and this gate. So essentially, this ORs this NOT gate and this NOT gate. So that's a logic gate that we can tap. And then lastly, we can also tap this NOT gate, which is just the AND sum of the AND gate. So just by doing some quick math, we can learn that we can tap four functions from just a single AND gate. Let's take this to a different component. Bishop the Bedstoner asked, Hey, I'm working on my own 16-bit computer. How many functions can I tap with a Morse full adder? Well, let's take a look at it. Since it's a full adder, we can tap at least the functions of the two XOR gates. Now, just because we can doesn't mean we should. If we were to tap all of them, we would have to make the build larger. So, in more cases than not, this doesn't affect us unless we're wanting to build a small build. Now, if we wanted, we can easily tap the AND, XOR, and the SUM from it. Nubasaurus did this to build his four-function ALU. It's less powerful than if we tapped every possible outcome, but, as you can see, this is still slim and is nonetheless a very good ALU. If you want to learn how to build this and how to add some more functions to Amorth's full adder, then I'll put the link to Noob's video in the description below. Looking at circuitry by logic is great if you're working with binary, where most, if not all, of your functions are based on logic gates. Well, what about hex? How are we supposed to tap, say, this add circuit? There aren't any logic gates that we can see on this, so it would be hard to look at it using the logic method I described earlier. Well, what we can do is look at it arithmetically. So, instead of looking at it by how many logic gates there are, we can look at the math formula that this gate calculates. For this add circuit, the formula is 15 minus 15 minus A minus B. While it doesn't look like we can tap much from this, let's break it down a step further. In a mathematical order of operation, the calculation in the parentheses is done first. So, for a moment, let's ignore the initial 15. Now we are left to just 15 minus A minus B. Our first term we could tap is 15, but in most cases that's useless to us unless we want to do unconditional jumps. So let's move on to the next character. This minus sign does us no good, so let's move one down. Now we have 15 minus A. Well, that can be tapped. If we continue down the line, we can also tap 15 minus A minus B, which is the equation itself. Now if we can go back to our original equation, we can see that we can output three things from one add circuit. 15 minus A, 15 minus A minus B, and 15 minus 15 minus A minus B. So my challenge to you is to look at different angles when you're going to tap. 
because just because something doesn't make sense in one aspect doesn't mean it doesn't make sense in another aspect. Who knows? You may be able to find a huge advantage just by leaving your comfort zone and looking at it from a different angle. And speaking of ALUs, if you want to learn how to build your own video, then I would recommend checking out the video to your left. Anyways, that's it for today. See you guys next time.